All right, what's up, everyone? This is Blank. We are back with No Minecraft uh, for this video. Obviously, you, as you can tell, we have been doing some deep uh, slate mining, or should I say, what? What do I say? What's this called? I don't know. It's yeah, deep slate. Oh, I had it right. I don't know why. I didn't think if we had it right. But anyways, so we did a lot of mining. Uh, a lot of shrimp mining, and this is kind of what we got. We have, I think it's like 32 diamonds, 28, 7, 28 redstone, 10 or so deep slate uh, lapis, 4 gold, and within here somewhere is 3 iron. So we have a fortune pickaxe, and let's see uh, what we get. And as we can see, we actually got a lot of diamonds. We over a stack of diamonds. Two, two and a half stacks of redstone, seven iron, 13 gold, and just over three stacks of lapis. So honestly, that is a very good haul that we had. Plus we needed all this deep slate for the mop farm. Uh, the mop farm is actually going pretty well. Uh, still, it's... It's still in production, I'll put it that way, it's not fully done. Um, but let's show you guys that right now. So as you guys can see, we have our storage system right here. I decided to just do like four rows of storage. Uh, the video I actually saw had two only, so two rows. I figured, all right, I'm gonna be AFK, or I'm just gonna be working on my base slash area for a while. So I think four will actually do the trick very well. Now if we go up here, we have one row that's kind of just that space. Uh, I actually built this a little too low, so I might actually remove that portion of it in the future. I uh, still haven't decided yet. And then right here we have a main floor that we've already built four layers up. Now obviously we need to go all the way to ten, so we definitely have a long place. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, four, six, wait, what? Two, four, six, eight. Did I miscount? No, I guess I miscounted. Uh, so I put 12 in here. Interesting. That's meant to be. 10. So I might just drop that down by 2. But I still need the blocks like this because obviously this wall is a little too short. Uh, but yeah, obviously let's start working on that and I will see you all in a little bit. Alright, a quick update for you guys. I have been working. I've been working on this a little for a little bit. <laughs> Uh, that was very close. So, as you can see, we have got all the levels done. I think there's 10 levels that we have. Uh, I still have to, I'm still like watching a video referencing it just to make sure I'm doing it right. Um, so, obviously that's going on there, but... So, referencing a video, make sure I'm doing it right, and then, obviously, make those changes. Uh, I th so in the video it said there were 10 layers. I have I could go up one more. Um, I do have the resources for it, um, but I will look at the video just to make sure like what they do and if it's needed. But yeah, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit and see, and hopefully we can get this all done for you. All right, we have finished it. So obviously, uh, I can't tell from like here, but based if I go a little bit further back, you will see that it there's still lights in it, but we have a redstone clock, 
already primed, so if I click this, it should... I really hope this works. Alright, it's all dark now, which that's definitely a plus. Let's see... I doubt that flowed through, but... Let's see. I wish I had. Um, I wish I had like the ability to spectate in this world because obviously I don't know for sure if it is working or not yet. Uh, let's see. Yes, this is a, one way to look. Oh, that's. Yep, we can hear it. Okay. All right, that is actually fantastic. Don't see any. Oh, there we go. Our first mob drop. Okay. So. That's actually fantastic. That's, that's actually a lot of mobs. Um, let's bring this up a little bit. Just so. Just in the small chance some mob manages the spawning here. Yeah. Okay. Well, honestly, that it's been I don't even know how long. It is probably my first attempt with this kind of mob spawner. Uh, let's actually sleep just for a sec. Get rid of this rain and all that. So yeah, this is my first attempt with this design for a mob farmer. farmer. Mob farm. Words. Uh, so yeah, this... So the tutorial I was looking at is by Shoko Craft. Feel free to check them out. They actually made a very simplistic uh, design for it. It's just a box, but I was like, that's... I want something that kind of looks like a circular kind of thing. So, and then, yep, okay. Yeah, it, it's working, which is good. So, I kind of went with this cylinder type, because I figured, okay, that's, I don't know, it's just a different way to do it. Um, obviously, it's different from the box, so I had to make some small changes to the tutorial. Uh, one of those changes is actually the I don't know if we can see it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to see it from here, but so essentially, because it's a box, they had it perfectly positioned where the water would stop right at where the campfires are. Since it's a cylinder, I had to adjust it, so I actually put some fence gates all around, so obviously the water would flow over, and then I also did not do infinite water sources all around because if I did, then it would actually just make the whole thing an infinite water source and not actually push the mobs into the fire. So that was just another adjustment I had to make when creating this mob farm. Uh, the tinted glass, technically it's not needed, but it's just a nice little adjustment to the farm. Does that mean it'll make the mob drops a little bit slower? Probably, but at the same time, I'm not looking for, I think in the tutorial it says like 10,000 items per hour. I'm not really looking for that. I'm just looking for a steady supply of gunpowder, and this is probably the best way, plus the rotten flesh will be good for trading, and the string is good for a bull as well, I guess, or some other uses that I find with it in the future. So, so yeah, if you like this video, feel free to feel free to leave a like, uh, subscribe if you are new, all that stuff. Uh, it might be a little bit broken out, obviously, when I do tutorials like this or where I'm referencing, referencing tutorials. I definitely try not to record and watch a tutorial at the same time because I do get very distracted. 
doing that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys like the video at the very least. Um, if it's a little bit shorter, I do apologize, but obviously this will be a big update to our base as well. Um, actually, speaking of our base, before I let you guys go, this is what our base looks like. Oops, let's actually go a little bit further. This is what our base is looking like at the moment. So, a little bit bigger, a little bit more industrial, kind of like a silo right here. And I still have to finish the glass here, make a wall area for there, and finish a wall area for the villagers. And then I got flattened out this part, but yep, lots to do, lots to do, achieve in the next uh, few videos, but hopefully you guys will stay tuned. Alright, see you guys later. Thank you.